What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Baseball Science and Gaming channel and today we're we'll ending up with another baseball video for you guys. It is the first baseball video of March of 2022. We did five baseball videos in February because February was very warm. March, pretty much the same. On and off very warm days. It is currently 48 degrees. The snow has cleared from the last snowstorm about a week ago. That's why I couldn't do any earlier and it was cold. But today we finally have a warm day and guess what? Sunday and Monday. 59 degrees but there is going to be some rain so if there is a dry break we have i will come out quickly into a baseball video but it's pretty unlikely because it's supposed to be raining pretty bad that's why it's so warm because of the moisture but today's baseball video is a little different because we've got the ssp 5000 you already know but we've i've got a new bat to see how good it is we have the easton T-ball bat here, drop 10. This is my second drop 10 I have. You know the orange one. Uh, this is the second one. Very light swinging. Um, as you can see, it is a very small bat because it's a T-ball bat. But we're not going to be using baseball, so it's not really going to matter. Um, but yeah, we're going to start with the SSB 5000. It's not going to be like two out of three. We're just going to keep hitting it and just see what my overall thoughts are. Um, we'll use the Spider-Man ball because, let's be honest, it's not going for it. And we have the basketball. I don't know where the little tight balls have gone, so... Hope I can find those someday in the future, but here we go. First one, just get right into it. So that's the ground ball. Yeah, the Spider-Man ball is not going to go anywhere. Maybe we shouldn't even use it. Maybe we should just stick to the basketball. Because <laughs> let's be honest, I don't think that thing's moving anywhere. It's already in the snow, so it's already going to be wet. Gone! Into the pine tree, then into the orange tree. That's a good start for this bat. We'll do a couple swings with the basketball. We're only going to do the basketball, because let's be honest... Spider Man is not gonna go anywhere. And then we'll do some hacks and then we'll go back and forth and see. I'm gonna take it. Yeah, the reason why we don't have the two little tight balls is that I hit them over the house for like 270, 290 feet back in February. That was the last baseball video. That was absolutely insane. It's like March 5th today. Here we go. Gone! Into the orange tree once again! This bat is golden, dude. It's not even swinging that hard. or not we could potentially have a second storm chase video on this channel for 2022 either tomorrow or monday tomorrow there's a marginal risk for severe weather a one out of five chance about 200 miles my north and in my northwest if they come down a little far south we might get to see the very front of it we won't get the actual storm monday is a better day we're in a general monday so yeah and it's gonna be warm it's gonna be in the 60s so and dew points will be in the 50s, so it'll definitely be enough for some severe weather. Hopefully, we get a storm chasing video. And that ball is off the hands. That is a home run into the bushes. Three pitches, three homers with the basketball. We'll pick it up and we'll see what the Easton can do. I'm excited. I've never swung with this thing on the channel. I think the last time I swung this, I think I used this bat in T ball about 12 years ago. So I do not really know how this thing swings. Especially with the inflatable basketball, but let's pick it up and find out.
start a mini ball on the way there, but it's not gonna go far, so we're gonna stick to the basketball. All right, Easton T ball bat. I'm excited. It's got green, my favorite color. Green like the pine tree. Let's see if we can hit it over it. Here we go. First hack for the Easton T ball bat. Let's do this. Oh, wow. Okay. Believe it or not, there might be more sweet spot on this. I got out, I got it over it. Dude, that felt really good. It was, I know it was a grounder, but when I hit that, I felt really good. Like, I didn't, that was straight bail. Like, if I got under it, that would have been launched. Dude, this might have a chance. It's a lot of pink, a lot of more pinks out because it's a metal bat, obviously. We just get one in the air, it's gonna launch. Oh, got on top of it again. Dang it. Come on, I want to launch one. Yeah, literally there's a little chance of tornadoes in northern New York, northern Vermont tomorrow. Um, I could definitely get up there. Like, like I like I could get up there, but there's it's pretty impossible because it's on a Sunday afternoon and I have school on Monday. And it's like a five hour drive away from here. So I mean I could go up there if you know what I mean, but I can't get the, I can't go there because I have school on Monday. But when we're on summer break and there's storms up there in the same exact spot. You already know I'm going up there, so yeah. Here we go. But I want to get one in the air. Wind's blowing out a little bit too. Oh yeah, there it is. How far is that? Oh, <laughs> yeah. That was off the hands, dude. But this, dude, this is this is gonna be a hard decision, man. This is gonna be hard. Yeah, dude, these bats are really similar, dude. Both of the ones I caught in the hands and they went over the tree line. Oh man, this is gonna be hard. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh. Almost over the house. All right, we're gonna hit with the SSB 5000 again. Dude, this is close. This is actually close, guys. Oh boy. I don't know, man. This might take a long time. Dude, they're really close. Maybe. It should go. Gone into the purple tree. I was off the end. Oh man, dude, <laughs> it's gonna be a really tough decision. Oh, wow, stuck in the bush. All right, let's go back to the Easton.
Oh man. Both of these bats are literally the same, bro. Metal versus whiffle. Or plastic, I should say. Oh! Ground ball. I think they both ground ball. They both hit it so far, man. Ugh. I don't know, man. Pop. It's not gone. Short. Yep, short. Man. Back spin. Short. Wow, that was short. I can't believe that was short. Bad pitch. Oh, the end. Short again. Let's go back to the SSB 5000. See, it's already 13 minute video. <laughs> nope. Short again. Now I just can't hit only. <laughs> Alright, try home here. Gotta like and subscribe to the channel. Maybe. Nope, so what? God dang it. Alright. I'm saying, if the SSB 5000 can hit two straight homers, back over the tree line, I call it a winner. So, if I can home over the tree line two times in a row, calling this the winner. If it doesn't, just keep going. Maybe. Gone! There's one.
All right, if I get home here, it's over. I'm gonna take this. Bad pitch. Gone! Over the pine tree. Goodbye. You will get the SSP 5000 one more chance, but I think we're gonna go with the Eastern Sea Ball bat for this. Okay, here's the deal. This homers will go into a sudden death round. If it doesn't homer, then I, and then I guess I'll call that winner. Here we go, one swing. Gone, Reiner. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. You know what? I think I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. I personally will go Easton. Um, but I want to let you know, I want to let you know, uh, your guys' um, opinion on this, and I'll go with the majority, um, in the comment section, so make sure to type in the comment section, Eastern T-Ball Bat, or SSP 5000. Again, if you don't know which one it is, this is the SP 5000. They, they both have positive and negatives on them. Positive, this has a bigger barrel, more sweet spot, but this one has a less sweet spot, but more power. Um, this one, don't get me wrong, this one still has power. I think the SSB has a little more juice in it. So I just want to let you guys, I just want to leave it up to you guys. Uh, personally, I go Easton. Um, but I want to see what you guys you think. But uh, thank you guys for jo uh, watching this uh, first March. So we did not the best one because we hit it over the house for like 290 feet. I mean, we did hit it on the house a couple of times, hit it over the pine tree about once. So not bad of a performance. You know, when we get them, wait till when it gets 70s, 80s, maybe even 90s sometimes. It's going to go even farther. I right, can't wait for storm chasing videos. Hopefully, we get a storm chasing video Sunday or Monday. That would be amazing. No, it's not amazing. I got to cut my finger from swinging. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Uh, but, yeah, make sure to comment below which one you choose. And I'll see you guys in the next baseball video, which will hopefully be tomorrow or Monday if it doesn't rain. I'll see you guys then. Peace out. Woo!